Okay, so we're doing some postnatal videos and before you do your postnatal videos, I need everyone to check that their tummy muscles are okay. So what I mean by that is that uh, you're gonna check how much of a tummy muscle separation or not that you have, okay? So in order to do this, I have Emer as a model and she is sitting with her knees bent, okay? And I'm gonna feel Emer's tummy for a gap, okay? It's called the diastasis rectus, but I just call it like a tummy muscle gap, okay? And it happens during pregnancy. So Emer's gonna do a sit up now. So she's gonna lift up her head and shoulders, all right? And I'm gonna ask her not to pull her belly button in towards her spine, just to release it, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get my two fingers and come down perpendicular and feel for a gap or edges to the muscle. Okay, and then I'm going to start at the belly button and I'm going to work my way up towards her ziphoid process, which is just the bottom of your um, sternum here. And then I'm going to work my way down as well and feel for the gap. Okay, so um, Emer has like a one finger gap. Okay, and this is from Luca that she had three years ago. Okay, so one finger gap is fine. A one finger gap is really good. And when Emer draws her belly button in towards her spine, she has no gap. So she's able to correct this. Okay, now if you have two and a half, three finger gap, four finger gap, then you have to do the video that's um, the rehabilitation video. So that's the one that's safe for the tummy muscle gaps. Okay, if you have the one finger, maybe one and a half finger you're good to go with the regular video. So we just call that the pregnancy fitness video. So Emer's checking it herself and she's feeling for that gap and the borders or the edges of the muscle. So she's feeling for the space and seeing is it like two fingers or one finger or three fingers. Now the other thing to bear in mind is how that space feels, okay? So if it feels like gooey or kind of like, like you're pushing your fingers into Play-Doh, like kind of squashy feeling, then that's not so good. That means you still have a bit of work to do. But if it feels like shallow, you know, not so deep, then that means the muscle is start, the fascial tissue is starting to meet again. Okay, so that's a really good sign that you're starting to rehab it. But if it feels squashy or Play-Doh-y, then it means that you still have a good bit of work to do. Okay.